Hey guys, today we're playing a little bit of a game called Horde. Now Horde is a game that's been out uh, since 2010 for PC, but it's just coming to Steam next week actually, April 4th, and uh, there's actually been a little bit of buzz behind this. If you watched uh, This Week in Indie last week, you know it was one of the best-selling Steam games, despite not even being out yet. So a demo has finally been released, which as you can see under the title, that's the version I'm playing. So uh, I've spent about maybe a half an hour to an hour with this at this point and I just kind of wanted to uh, show you guys what's up with it in case for whatever reason you have uh, no access to the demo yourself. So the demo comes packaged with a couple tutorial maps as you can see here which teach you uh, basic and advanced tactics and then it comes with one real map. <clears throat> but before I get into this uh, I might as well just explain what goes on with Horde. Horde is a, a dragon based strategy game or a strategy based dragon game? I always get those confused. Basically, you play as a dragon and your goal is to basically burn as much shit up as you can. And when you burn things, it gives you gold. And you take the gold back to your horde, and then your goal is to have more gold at the end than all of the other dragons. So it's, uh, there's some single player to it, but it seems like more of a multiplayer oriented or multiplayer focused experience. And actually, most of the the acclaim or accolades that this game received last year were multiplayer based. And actually it seems like it has some really fun and frantic multiplayer just based on the kind of, uh, you know, jousting and jockeying I've been doing with the AI. So let's get into the game and hopefully I'll get a chance to show you uh, what, what this looks like in practice. So you can see it's going to be me, Toshiba. Uh, that's not the name of the laptop, that's just my nickname. Just kidding. And then we have an AI dragon as well. So let's start the game. I'm done the tutorials, so I'm pretty sure uh, it won't hook me up with any, like, on-screen text anymore, but we'll see. We'll see. If I could just start the game, that would be... That would be dandy. Yes, thank you. So you can see the the paywall that we've got here, kind of, to tell us what to do. You can see the awards that it's gotten, and that's cool. Ars Technica gave it a buy. IGN gave it a couple of awards. Anyway, so here we are. You can see the tiles come in. And there's a... We're the green dragon, and we're playing against the silver dragon. So basically, the controls are incredibly simple. You use, ah, uh, he stole my gold. You use WASD to fly around, and you use uh, your mouse button, or your mouse cursor, to choose where to breathe fire. So what I have to do is find something to burn here, so that I can pick up some gold. So we'll burn these crops and get 100 gold. You know, maybe we'll burn this town too. There's, there's some interesting town dynamics that happen. You can make towns uh, afraid of you. And when you make towns afraid of you, they send tributes to your horde at uh, regular intervals. But for now, we're just going to focus on actually uh, getting this gold ourselves. And I'll, I'll destroy this town over here and pick up another 500. There's a limited amount of gold that you can carry, and that, that amount starts out as 500. <clears throat> so we'll take this back here, and you can see that I'm going to get 1,000 points here. Or actually, over 1,000. Um, 2,000, sorry. Uh, because we have score multipliers as well. So when we hit the space bar... Uh, we can level up, because there are RPG elements to this as well. So if we want to upgrade the top, that will upgrade our speed. This will upgrade our fire breathing capabilities, which will allow us to breathe longer uh, and have more power come out of it. This will upgrade our carrying capacity so we can handle more gold and we don't have to go back to our, uh, our horde so often. And this will handle armor, which means that when we get into fights with the other dragon, which we might a little bit later on, uh, or if we fight against the, uh, the towns, which will eventually produce knights and archers, we'll be more protected. But for now, I like upgrading my, uh, my speed and my fire-breathing ability. Oh, and I can actually upgrade my speed a little bit more, uh, because some of the upgrades apparently cost less than others. Anyway, you can see I'm a good deal faster now. Let's burn this town. Actually, no, let's just try to make this town afraid of us, so that it'll give us, uh, it'll send us some tributes. So I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna continually hurt the town. Uh, and yes, I think it is afraid of me now, so it should start sending... Oh, no, I accidentally burned down the town center. Had I not done that, it would have continually sent me tributes, uh, so it would have sent me a bunch of extra gold. But unfortunately, I'll get another chance to show that off in a minute. So you can see one of the way main ways we get gold is by hitting these wagons that appear every so often. And there will be other ways that we can get gold in the future as well. But for now, let's make this focus on making this town afraid of us. I think that's what it's doing right now. So it should start sending... Um some tributes our way any minute now. Unless I'm mistaken on the uh, on the way that it looks. You can tell that they're tributes based on an icon that comes up over top of them. So, yes, now, okay, now it is sending us tributes. You can tell by that circle over top of its head. So by set, oh, and there's a thief that will come to steal stuff from our horde. And there's a lot of elements in this game, I feel like I need to cover them quickly. So uh, now that this town is sending us 
Uh, tributes, let's go focus on something else. We'll drop this off, and that should give me at least one more level up. Oh, the dragon destroyed my town. That was sending me tributes. What a dick. This guy's playing hardball. All right, let's upgrade our let's upgrade our carrying capacity. Again, all right, excellent. So we're, we're pretty well rounded down. It really helps to have towns afraid of you, but let's let's just destroy them for now, so I can show some more elements of the gameplay. You can see there's an archer here that's firing arrows at me, and he actually killed me, so I have to go back to my horde and uh, you know kind of wait for my health to recharge. And I'm getting killed by the computer here. He's really tearing it up. Anyway, let's destroy this town. Focus a little bit more on what the computer's doing. So, uh, you know, I want to emulate that. So we'll burn this town over here, pick up some gold. Oh, there's a car worth a thousand gold there. That's remarkable. All right. So I am getting shellacked by the computer right now, but it's all right. It's all right. I have faith. So I'm really just focusing on towns now, but there's other things that will come into play a little bit later. Uh, you can see that there's this glowing kind of orb down here. This will eventually produce what's known as a Magician's Tower, and the Magician's Tower will uh, shoot orbs at us. And uh, if we kill the Magician's Tower, we get a gem that we can redeem for 3,000 gold. So here, what happened, you just missed it a second ago, I destroyed that royal, uh, royal carriage. I'm just going to pause the game so I can level up and explain it. The royal carriage contains a princess, and if you take the princess back to your horde, and protect her, or protect yourself, I guess, from the knights that are going to come after you. Uh, after about 10 seconds or so, she will just turn into ransom money that you get. So, that is, uh, royal carriages are good things to look out for, because they can give you quick boosts of gold. Let's get some more firepower, and uh, some armor, and let's go take on this gold dragon, or silver dragon, because I, like, I don't like what he's doing right now. He's kind of making a fool of me, isn't he? So here, we just chase him down. Oh, he's a little bit faster than me, he's getting away. Your time will come. Your time will come. So knights are kind of like archers, uh, in that they will uh, they will attack you, but only if you get close enough to them. <clears throat> so you can see I destroyed a royal carriage there, but he took the princess. But now I rescued her anyway, or I guess rescued is probably not the term you'd be looking for. And some knights will come in to try to, uh, to try to save her, but it's too late. She's already turned into ransom money. So I'm gonna do a princess-focused strategy for now because it seems to be working out pretty well for me. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying this game so far, actually, which is uh, neat because I'm not usually much for uh, much for strategy games. Uh, oh, they keep taking the princess back. Get back here. Um, yeah, I'm not usually much for strategy games, but uh, this one is more of like a casual strategy game. You know. But the deepest I go in strategy games is being a bad Civilization player, and of course, Civilization, this is not... Let's upgrade a little bit more, get a little bit more firepower, a little bit more armor. I will take on that silver dragon eventually, and I'm actually closing in on him in terms of actual gold, so I feel like my princess strategy here is paying off. So the guy that was just in my horde was trying to steal, he was a thief who was trying to steal my uh, some of my gold. And if a thief steals gold from your horde, then your score multiplier goes down. So you can see right now it's at times three. Like in your typical like rhythm-based uh, game, like Guitar Hero or Rock Band, Keeping your uh, your score as, or your score multiplier the highest it can go is extremely important. So I'm gonna try to keep that up as long as I can. And with this princess, I should actually pass the other one. Yes, I did pass the other dragon. Excellent. So you can see with the icon over oh one second this archer is gonna kill me <laughs> very nearly. With the icon over this uh, this town, that means it was afraid of the other dragon, which means it was sending tributes to it. So by uh, cutting off his supply there, I've actually probably improve my chances a little bit. So let's come back here, try not to get murdered by the archer, and come down. Uh, we'll just, just keep destroying these towns. Probably not going to show the entire game, uh, the entire game of Horde that we have here, because they do tend to go on for quite a long time, but I'm, I'm enjoying what's happening so far. You can see that my score multiplier has actually uh, gone down to zero because a thief must have stolen from me. But let's kill this archer, I'll at least show off this wizard tower, and then I'll leave this uh, with a note to a note to try it out yourself. Get the demo on Steam, it's a good time. So first let's kill this princess. I at least want a chance of... I, I want to retire on top, let's put it that way. By going back to your horde you also uh, get more health regenerated. Alright, so you can see this tower has appeared in the spot that uh, I thought it would. Actually, first let's upgrade our firepower. Uh, what this does is it shoots orbs at us. <clears throat> so, by killing it, those orbs do a lot of damage. But if we kill it, we see we get this gem. If we carry this gem back, we get an instant 3,000. 
Anyway, that's where I'm probably gonna call it for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Check this game out yourself. Horde looks pretty neat. Releases next week, uh, and the demo is out on Steam now. Thanks for watching, guys.